Hey guys, hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I have a skincare routine for you guys. One of you requested it. So I am 32 years old for reference and this is my face with nothing on it. I'm just kind of getting up and ready for the day. Um, so I haven't even had breakfast yet, <laughs> okay. Nothing going on, no makeup, no lotion, no potion. I haven't washed my face, nothing. So. Speaking of washing faces, um, let's just go ahead and roll that out really quickly. So recently I've been using the Lemon Zesty Scrub um, from, I think it's Clean and Clear. Um, yeah, Clean and Clear. That's what that looks like. Got it on clearance from Walmart. You can kind of see their logo back there. I really like it. I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it for maybe two-ish months now. Um, I'm not like religiously dedicated holy grail of any kind to any of uh, skincare stuff not really we'll, we'll touch on that a little bit uh so especially when it comes to face wash when i was a kid i had horrible acne to the point that i had to have laser um scar removal on my face and i did that for a couple of months um painful <laughs> worked because i don't really have too much scarring now as an adult but I had, especially like on my cheeks and in this area, really, really bad scarring by the time I was about 15, 16 years old. I started scar removal treatment at like 17, 18. And my acne itself didn't actually really go away and clear up until I was about, I don't know, 23, 20, probably 24. Um, and so just a little bit of backstory on all of that. So... I started doing skincare stuff when I was around 10, um, started getting acne around that age, and I said it was bad. And I used, you name it, I used it. I had the, what was that stuff called? I don't, I don't even remember. I'll have to pop it on the screen somewhere if I can find it. I don't even know if they make it any, anymore. <laughs> These have like a vending machine at the mall, um, like the Oxy... This is called Oxy. I don't remember. Noxzema strips, um, clean and clear. You name it, I've used it, especially if it's from the late 2000s. Um, been there, done that. Uh, and that includes going to dermatologist. So, honestly, what cleared up my acne was when I hit about 24. And I said, F it. And I stopped fighting my acne. By then, I was married, settled. I was like, I don't have anybody to impress. I'm not trying to catch a man. I already got one. And I'm tired of spending so much money on acne treatments. And I stopped fighting it. And I got down to where, like, I use a lotion to keep my skin moisturized. And then I use a facial wash. And I literally buy whatever is on clearance. Uh, so I really like this one. I wouldn't be against buying it full price if, like, the next time I need a facial wash, I can't find one on clearance. But for the last couple of years, I've been able to, on, like, the Walmart clearance rack, find facial wash on clearance. Sometimes I really like it. Sometimes I don't. But I use it because I bought it and I paid the money for it. So... I'm not like dedicated to any particular brands. So in regards to washing my face, some people will find this gross and I understand that, but if you don't have, if, sorry, if you have really bad acne, it's something to consider. If you are using all the lotions and the potions on your face, all of the, um, what do they call astringents, if that's even popular anymore, I don't know. If you're doing all of that and it's not working, there's a possibility you could be stripping all of the good oils from your face. We seem to have this idea in our heads that our natural oils from our body are bad. Um, same thing goes for washing your hair. You shouldn't be washing it every day, which is something I used to do when I was younger because I thought it was bad. I said I've learned now how to use dry shampoos, how to brush it through my hair properly. It takes a while of not washing your hair for your hair to adjust to the amount of oil on your scalp. But I'm in 13 now, maybe two, three times a week washing my hair. And the same thing kind of goes for my face. Um, I'm a mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom. And some people might think it's gross, but I shower every two to three days because, again, I don't have anybody impressed. I'm not going anywhere. Now, in the summer, when it is piping hot and you walk outside and get swamp ass, yes, I'm showering. I'm putting my hair up out of the way and I'm washing my body. And then on days like that, I will take a wet washcloth and just kind of go over my face. But I'm not using astringents. I'm not using soaps on it. I'm kind of just wiping away the extra. So 
keep that in mind but when it's like winter spring fall and i'm not really outside i'm not getting hot and sweaty like i'm not except i'm not getting sweaty not doing a lot of physical labor um i'm showering every two three days and since i have stopped washing my face daily and even multiple times a day because i used to be religious on that once in the morning once at night right since i stopped doing that at 24 my acne has more or less gone away i get a pimple here or there it happens especially hormonally like right along the chin line i've got one right there from um my last cycle and i have a little scar here from the last time i had a pimple like i think it's just part of life but i'm not breakout central anymore and that all happened when I said, F it, I'm done fighting my acne. And I stopped using all the lotions and the potions and I stopped washing my face twice a day. And suddenly my acne cleared up. So it's something to keep in mind and to think about. I do like to use daily facial lotions. I think they go a long way to help uh, along with like your natural body oils on your skin, like your natural oils on your skin, which I think are very good for our skin. Um, I also think adding to that a lotion is nice. So. And when I said that I'm not dedicated, holy grail, to anything, that's with a slight little, you know, there's something that I do like and I have used for years. Um, this one is the Off Brand, it's from Equate, but it's the Oil of Olay, and that just comes into like generational use. Both of my grandmothers always used it, my mom always used it, they aged beautifully. Most of the time my grandmothers, like, they would look at least 10 to 15 years younger than they were. Now, is that genetic? the lotion i don't know you be the judge <laughs> probably genetic but they used it i use it so um i buy off brand sometimes and just because oil of is very expensive so this one's equate this one has an spf in it and i really like to use it in the summertime it is a thicker lotion um but because it has an spf i think it's good to help protect my skin and prevent sunburn because we all know how bad sunburn is for our skin um so here recently now that i'm moving into fall I do, like I said, I'm, I dabble in everything and I get things that are on sale. And um, currently I've got the Super Fruits from Earth Skin and it's a citrus day gel cream that I've been using during the day. So I used this last spring, took a break from it, went to the oil of for the summer for the SPF. Now we're into fall and I'm not out in the sun, not out on the beach like I was this summer. So I'm going back to this. So it's just like a clear jelly. I like it. I like the way it feels on my skin. Um, just a nice liberal amount and I just rub it all in. And again, like, once this is used up, will I buy it again? I don't know. Will I find something else on clearance to buy? Maybe. I have other things in a stockpile currently that I'm using. So we'll see where I'm at once this is gone. And I also still have that SPF up here. So I might just go back to that because I already own it. And why buy more stuff when I've already got stuff, you know? So I just like to slather that all over my skin bring it down my neck and we're good for the morning um we could head on into the kitchen and i will show you the supplements i take that are also for my skin okay we are in my kitchen sorry if you can hear my washing machine running to god do laundry i've also got children in the dining room that are playing so you might hear them as well but anyways on to the supplements that i take so i try to take a multivitamin every day does it help with skin and nails i don't know but i do take it something i have noticed that has helped greatly with my skin especially um, i was starting to get some pretty deep bags under my eyes some pretty intense creasing this one in particular Something that's helped a lot with that has been taking collagen. And I, I've noticed if I don't take it religiously, this the wrinkles start to come back. I've got to take this on a regular basis. Um, but after about a solid week of taking it, I start noticing this not being so intense. And my skin looks nicer. So this one's from Spring Valley. I just grabbed one up to try. It was, I think, like the cheapest one Walmart had. Hair, skin, nail, and health is what this one is. Um, the last time I was at the store, I went ahead and bought extras of my supplements. This one is also from Spring Valley. Hair, skin, and nail, collagen support. So I don't know what the difference is on these, honestly. Um, and something I didn't mention in the bathroom, but I always feel like when I use the same thing over and over and over again, eventually my skin just gets desensitized to it. So I think it's kind of good to switch things up here and there anyways. Uh, dietary supplement has vitamin C. This one says um, 15 key ingredients, including the biotin and antioxidants. I don't know if it's the same thing, just different packaging. Maybe they changed up the packaging. I don't know if the pills are slightly different. 
I couldn't really tell you. But it's got collagen in it, and that's the main thing I'm looking for. Um, so once these are all gone, I'll switch over to these and give them a go and see. Again, like I, they're probably the same thing. Um, but that is what I do to help internally with my skin. And that is something that I have actually seen a difference with. This actually does something. Again, if I stop taking them, I start noticing over a couple of days, um, the crease here really starts coming back pretty intense. So I've got to keep on it with these. And uh, it's three capsules a day. The kids are pushing themselves around in a rolling chair and a finger got caught on a dresser. <laughs> He's okay. So these pills are huge. They're, they're big pills. You gotta take three a day. Um, I take them all at the same time. And they kind of like, I like to eat something after I take these because otherwise if I burp, there's like a flavor, which is kind of gross, but just let you know. <laughs> and then I also take fish oil on a daily basis and this is more for my heart my the like heart um disease and problems runs in my family uh i don't know if this helps with your skin at all i feel like omega-3 is it's good for your organs i imagine it's good for your skin because your skin is is your skin considered an organ um i don't know but i take those two so there's that and i will show you guys what i do in the evening okay guys it is end of the day time to finish my nighttime routine it looks like one of my little snot goblins did their job. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, a lot of people will wash their face for the end of the day. I don't. I don't think that getting rid of the natural oil on my skin is necessarily a good thing. I feel like when I wash my face too much, it dries it out and leads me to acne breakouts. So, like I said earlier, no, I don't wash it every day. I don't wash it multiple times a day. So I'm going in with, and this is something I found at TJ Maxx, and I swear it is the bottle that never ends. It is um, a collagen and retinol night serum, restore and hydrate from Provence Beauty, Provence Beauty. I like it. I think it does a pretty good job. I'd say it is comparable to jojoba oil, but not as good. And um, again, like it just helps my under eye area. I say the collagen helps better, but I started taking this stuff or using it rather before I started doing the collagen because this just never ends. I've had it for probably a year at this point and I use it almost every night. I mean, I have my moments where I may go like a week and I forget to do my skincare routine, but I try to be on it with this stuff and it just takes a little bit under the eyes and it has lasted me forever. I'm probably about here on the bottle. So we probably have another couple months in there. Um, I was noticing the difference on the under eyes as long as I use it regularly. Um, but again, I've noticed a bigger difference with the collagen. And then the cream I'm using over my face right now is Pacifica Dreamy Youth. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag forever ago. I haven't gotten Ipsy in probably two years at this point. <laughs> um, it's okay. I feel like it's a bit of a drier moisturizer if that makes any sense. Like I feel like it, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say it dries out my skin. Um, I don't know how to describe that. It's okay. What about it? Uh, I don't know. I like that. It, that not see it. Pacifica um, isn't tested on animals. It's cruelty free. So for that reason, I like the brand. I feel like it does a, a decent job, but I think it is. It feels weird to say drying on the skin, being that it's a moisturizer. But like some moisturizers tend to sit on the skin longer than others. Am I making any sense? I'm a professional here. So uh, yeah, rub that all over. And then I will go in with a chapstick. Currently I'm just using vanilla mint. Um, I will say, uh, if I wear makeup, I do take that off. I don't wear makeup every day, but I like to use the Garnier uh, micellar water. And I will use it all over the face to get the makeup off. So in that regard, on days I use makeup and I use it to get everything off my face, I feel like that is removing a lot of the buildup from throughout the day. So I chapstick. And I do that several times throughout the day. I just keep this in my bathroom. And pretty much anytime time I'm in the bathroom, I'm moisturizing my lips. I'm not like a diehard fan of any particular chapstick lip gloss. Uh, the Dollar Journal near me, right by the register, 
of what I'm gonna do. Has like a variety of chapsticks and normally it's like their seasonal holidays. So I've been kind of like picking them up whenever I'm there. So I've got a handful of those to work through right now. I try to open only one, I try to open only one at a time. So currently I'm using vanilla. I find that when I have multiple chapsticks open, I never finish them. So there's that. That's everything for my skincare routine. It is pretty simple. I'm not here to push any particular brands on you guys. That's just what works for me. That's what cleared up my acne, how I did it. Um, I think my skin looks fairly decent for what it is. I'm starting to get fine lines and wrinkles here and there, but like I'm 32, so it's going to happen. But anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Come hang out with me in the comments below. I always try to respond. Hit the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I appreciate the engagement. And I'll see you guys in my next video.